Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Two Gar Today we got the FTX Outback ver uh, version two. Uh, this is not mine. This is uh, my neighbor Stephen. He got it today, and he managed to got, uh, get it up and running today as well. And we actually already been outside with it. Um, it's been snowing. Uh, don't know if you guys can tell from the window. But it's been snowing. Um, and we've been having a little bit of fun. And I've been out with the, with the plow cleaning some snow. So let's talk about the changes on the version 2 to the version 1. As you can tell, width of the axles is one of them is very noticeable. So those ones are, if I'm if I'm com correct, is 15 mil wider than the version 1. Um, length, they are basically the same. And... One way I can actually tell you is by grabbing my old body from my version one. Take this defender out. And you guys will see it just fits there. Sorry without your camera. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, and there you have it. With the version one body. Uh, as you can tell, that is wider. The wheels come out, and but lengthwise, sorry, yawning. Wow, um, lengthwise uh, is basically the same. Uh, they pulled the, the front the front bumper a bit forwards because that body is slightly longer, and a little bit of a side to side uh, you cannot really tell but it's slightly longer um now other things that have changed is the size of a motor that has increased significantly but it's still not a 540 <laughs> unfortunately so that's the original one on the version one uh, 370 size that's the new one on the version 2 a 390 version with a 390 size which is <laughs> oh there it goes you guys know it's huge <laughs> compared to the version 1 so should the uh, Give you a little bit more torque, uh, a little bit more uh, low hand speed control, and and be more uh, capable of everything else. Now, um, other things I've changed was the the shocks. The shocks still the same, but the position has changed. On version one, they used to stay on the inside like those ones. On version 2, they are on the outside of the chassis, you know, on the inside, which does help a lot with tilting. Um, you can tell the difference already uh, between this one and that one. When driving it just outside for a little bit, you could tell the difference uh, on when it wants to tilt, and uh, this one wanted to tilt very easily, as this one... As, doesn't tilt as much. Uh, other changes. Uh, it's got a nice four-link suspension. They went away with. You know, this one's got uses the Y link on the top. On this one, it actually just uses two rods, and I'll prefer this than to that, to be honest, because on that ones, this happens. I don't like it. They kind of unscrew it themselves in there on the bottom. Which, uh, when you try to turn them like that, that's what happens. So it's kind of weird. I don't like that. 
But we'll see how it goes. Uh, other than that, it's basically the same truck, just with the wider axles, significantly wider. And another thing they went away with, which I like, did not like on version one, was the bottom of the axles now. See on the version one, let me see with the light. There it goes. Can you see those um, mounts there? On the version two, they don't have them. And I like that. It's a nice clean surface. Those tend to get caught up in pretty much anything that can get caught up on. Which kind of sucks. Uh, but I, sus I, I think they are meant to have a skid plate or something in there. Uh, but yeah. Now, the servo mount is basically is still the same thing as in this one. It's got those two little pins as well on the back, as you can tell. Uh, let's see, sorry, light. There it goes. It's basically the same, same length. The I believe on this one. I don't know if it's because the way it looks, but to me it seems to be a slightly bigger pump, pumpkin, but I don't quote me on that. Just this one is not smooth, it's got like a, a, a neck shape type of thing going around that. As in this one is, it's got a smooth finish all around that. So, and it seems to be slightly bulkier. But I could be wrong. So there it goes, guys. That's the uh, FTX Outback version 2. Uh, quick comparison to the version 1. Uh, not a lot to it, as you can tell. But uh, it still looks uh, a better rig than the version 1. And that's what you want with when they upgrade their uh, to version 2 or version 3 and so on. You want to be noticeable changes not just a little tweaks so there it goes guys thank you very much for watching please comment like subscribe and stay tuned for more upcoming videos thank you so much see ya